In this video, we're gonna go over how I create my custom HDRIs to better integrate my visual effects into my shots. Let's do it. So here we are inside of the Insta360 Studio app. And here we have all of our HDRIs that we've taken loaded on the left. And we have one here loaded in the middle. Now I wanna, on the left here, find the one that I wanna use, and it's this one. There are two different versions. There's a JPEG version and a DNG version. We'll use the DNG version, so this is it. I'll go to the bottom here and press this button, and this is gonna select all of the photos, and then I'll hit export in the lower right. That'll bring up the batch exporting window, and we'll click on export 360 photo. I'm gonna do original resolution, and if I click on this button, you can see it's 6K. And we're gonna select where we wanna save it. In my case, it's right here. And I'm gonna check automatic horizon leveling. We probably don't need to do this because we shot on a tripod and also the position of the camera didn't change between shots, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to be sure. So we'll press start export. So once that's done, I'll navigate to where we save the files, which is right here. I'll select all of them and drop them into Photoshop. So Photoshop is gonna open up this window. So what we're gonna to have to do is select on the bottom here, select all of them. So just shift click on the right one, make sure all of them are selected. I wouldn't touch any of the settings on the side here. We'll just keep the photos as is. So once all of them are selected, we can hit open. This is gonna open each individual one in Photoshop and you can see the different bracketed exposures here. Okay, perfect. So what we can do is just go to file, automate, merge to HDR Pro. That's gonna bring up this window and we're gonna click add open files. So it's gonna take all the open files here, make sure nothing else is open but the bracketed DNGs that we imported, and then we'll click okay. So it's gonna merge all of these into one HDR photo and it's gonna bring up this window. Now the important thing here is that we wanna make sure that we're in 32-bit mode. So that's good. And we also want to uncheck complete toning in Adobe Camera Raw. If we leave this checked, it's gonna clip the highlights. I'll make two versions so we can see that inside of Blender and press okay. So now you can see it merged everything into one photo. And if you want, you can paint out the tripod here. In our case, it's not necessary, but we can still do it. We can select content aware fill and press okay if you wanted to. So that gets rid of it. So if you wanted to, you could do that. I'm gonna leave it because it's just not really gonna make a difference for us. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this video. I just wanna remind you to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, including future filmmaking and visual effects tutorials. All right, let's jump back into it. So the one thing that I wanna make sure is that over here, we're on 32 bits per channel and that's under properties. You can also go over here and go to image mode and 32 bits per channel. So just make sure that you're working in 32 bits per channel. And you can see if I add an adjustment layer with the exposure effect. Now, if I adjust the exposure, watch the windows here. You can see that we're preserving all that detail that's out there. So just note that I'm going to get rid of this exposure effect because we don't need it. That lets us know that that detail is still there. We want to have access to that detail once we're in Blender. So now we can go to file, save a copy. And over here we can select Radiance HDR. Now, if we were not in 32-bit mode, let's say we were in 16, and I went file, save a copy, Radiance is not here. So just make sure we're in 32-bit mode so you get access to that file format. So file, save a copy, switch it to Radiance. We'll save it here. And we'll name this Garage and save it. So as an alternate option, I'm gonna do 32-bit and also check complete toning in Adobe Camera Raw. And I just wanna show you what happens when we do this. So we'll make another version so we can see what happens in Blender. So I'll hit Tone and ACR, and it brings up the Adobe Camera Raw window. And you'll see here that if we adjust the exposure, we do still have access to that, but only in this window. So if I just don't do anything, I just reset this back to zero, no changes at all, and I'll hit okay. And then now, again, if I switch this to 32 bits per channel and do file, save a copy, switch it to radiance, we'll name this garage underscore ACR for Adobe Camera Raw so that we know that this is the processed one in Adobe Camera Raw. And this is the one that's gonna lack detail. And we'll see that inside of Blender. So here we are inside of Blender and I'm gonna open up on the left here, Easy HDRI. And I'm gonna navigate to the folder where we save these. So we'll navigate to this folder, hit accept. And you'll see that we have two versions. We have Garage 
and we have Garage ACR. And remember, ACR is the one that was processed in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's start with the other one, the one that wasn't processed in ACR, so Garage, and we'll hit Create World Nodes, and we'll switch this to Rendered View. And here we are with our HDRI. So watch these windows now. If we lower the sky strength to 0.1, you can see all that detail came back. So those windows aren't really clipped. All that detail is stored there. So I'm gonna swing this around to maybe here and watch this window in the background also. So we'll bring that back up to one. And you can see clearly that that's clipped. But if we lower it, it's not clipped and we have access to all that data. If we switch over to Garage ACR, you'll see that even though we're at point one over here, that window is clipped. We'll bring it back up to one, which is the typical strength and you'll see that that window is still clipped so you can see that these windows here are also clipped and if we drop it down to point one they stay clipped if we switch between the two see those windows are not clipped so don't process it in adobe camera raw and you should be fine these are the steps that i take to create custom hdri files using my insta 360 one r the insta 360 studio app and photoshop so if you follow these steps you should be all good so i hope that helps if you have any questions feel free to hit me up once again my name is paul Dovecchio, and thanks for watching